Take the first step towards online privacy. Get NordVPN. Please follow me on Twitter and join my official Telegram announcements channel. Also, please follow me on bittube.video. You can also follow me on Odyssey. These are both censorship resistant platforms. And every now and then I am going to post a video which isn't going to be on YouTube. Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich working with you to get rich with crypto, filling pockets with crypto profits. I am with Wi-Fi Max, Wi-Fi.io, which is a DeFi project built on the Cardano blockchain. And I'm with Max, who is their technical analyst. And so far, for three Sundays in a row, we've been doing technical analysis on Bitcoin and Cardano and perhaps one other asset. We're going to do the same again today. We're recording this at 7 a.m. Sunday, the 26th of September, and that's UK time. Hey, good morning, Max. Good morning, Rich. Thank you so much for making yourself available. Um, and if we do a quick, do you, do you just want to say a little bit about yourself and, and Wi-Fi.io? Yeah, so I'm a professional trader. I'm doing uh, trading analysis uh, on this channel here and also on the Wi-Fi Discord channel. I'm their analyst. And yeah, I'm, I'm trading Bitcoin, Ethereum and ADA futures and earning money there. Yes, and this is what you do for a living. I do social work and I earn a salary and I make a little from these from my videos, but you make money from trading and you trade your calls, your analysis. So I think that's just amazing because it does take something to learn how to trade. It really, really does. It's not like you can just look at some lines and place some money and go for it. No, no, no. It takes real skill. Okay. So do you exactly. want to say what we, what we said last week and where we're at with um, Bitcoin, Cardano, and I think you said a surprise third one. Yeah, it's not it's not a third cryptocurrency, but a third uh, chart I wanted to show mm -hmm. to outline some of the uh, metrics. So first, uh, here is the, the one-day Bitcoin chart. Okay. Uh, do you want to start by telling us a little bit about Wi-Fi, Max? Yeah. So, so Wi-Fi just had a, a great announcement, uh, a partnership with uh, Minex, which is a, a swap and Dex platform, um, and also a uh, Mind Swap. Sorry, Mind Swap. And um, I think one of our uh, team members is at the Cardano Summit that's going on right now in oh, in, wow. in the US. So, yeah, there's there's a lot of new things coming and. We're working hard, as always. Great. Okay. And I'll have a link in the description below and people can go check that out. And I know that the team are very, very busy because they've just had their IDO, but I'm reaching out to them for an update interview. So please subscribe so you find out about that. Uh, and what we've got in front is the Bitcoin one-day chart. Yes. So here we have the, the one-day chart. Last week, uh, you can see there is a red box with an R1. Uh, that's how I call it, R resistance one. Um, we were at this level last week when we when we published the video. We were at around forty eight to forty seven thousand, and I think I I said that we have a CME. The CME futures closing price was a little bit below us, and I said if we lose if we lose those forty seven k, we are going to to have a substantial drop, and we will go towards our support zones. The support zone one, S one, and the support zone two. Um, yeah, this is pretty much exactly what happened. Um, I woke up Monday and we already saw like a, a strong sell-off on Monday. And on Tuesday, we reached um, the 40Ks. So pretty much the whole week was uh, a big sell-off. Um, we had a, a reaction afterwards, um, which which had a good potential to, to bring us higher. But uh, you all probably heard the, the China, China ban. China bans uh, for the 100th time uh, cryptos. <laughs> Yes. And so, so we are struggling right now. Okay, so this is pretty much what what I uh, mentioned last week. Um, we are in for more downside from from the forty seven k area. It's it pretty much happened exactly like that. Um, so for this week, um, on this chart, what I want to line out, um, we didn't fully reach the second support zone that I mentioned, which which is a good thing because it shows you that a lot of people are are willing to buy at a little bit higher prices than that. And and they don't want to like they're battling to get the the prices at 40k. Everyone wants to buy there, so we didn't uh, we didn't go lower than that, which is really good thing right now. And on Friday, this is the the green arrow you can see on the chart. We also made a higher low there, so yeah. we didn't we didn't drop lower, even though there was a lot of panic with with China. People still panic if if they ban it. I, yeah, it this this is probably another topic um, to discuss. Um, but from a technical viewpoint, I'm just looking at it higher low, which is a very good thing so far. Um, on the bottom, just quickly, uh, the, the MACD indicator, which is which is showing you the momentum. Um, it also shows you that 
we have like bearish momentum since already the, the 16th of August. Um, so when we were not even at the highs, you already saw that this indicator showed you that there is a little bit more uh, sell pressure in the market than buy pressure. And right now um, we are we are at a critical spot there. So we what we want to see is that this indicator flattens out at the bottom and starts to to curve to the upside again. And also we don't want to take out the low, the green arrow there. Mm -hmm. So this is something I wanted to outline on on this on this chart and just to recap. Um, now let's go on to this one here. Oh wow! Can you go back to the previous chart? I want to ask you a few questions. Oh yeah, sure, sure. So I got the stochastic. So when the blue line is below the red line, it's bearish. So when the blue line is above the red line, it's bullish. What about the yes. bars? What indicator is um, that? The bars are um, there. They show you how high um, the how far those two lines are apart from each other. Right. If there if there is a huge difference, it shows you that uh, one side is much stronger than the other, and then those bars will go and and uh, yeah will be higher than the other bars. Okay, and then the green arrow you've got on the screen showing the higher low. At what point is that? Because I can't see the numbers. Um, that higher low is around forty thousand six hundred. Forty thousand six hundred. Okay, and then yes. that candle at the above the candle, it looks like to me there's a zone of resistance. Um, yeah, that red dot dotted line. No, the next one, the ne the candle to the left to the left of it, the big candle with the big bit wick, bearish wick. Um, the one you've got the arrow on. Yes. Yeah. If you go to the top of the candle. Oh, you uh, mean you mean above this candle? Yeah. There's there's a uh, zone of resistance. I yeah. Think. This was this was at around uh, forty five thousand. I have I have another another chart uh, for the smaller time frame, anyways, that I wanted to show. Mm -hmm. um, but pretty much, what happened there is, uh, yeah, this was when the announcement came, and also something that's maybe interesting. There there was a a major options options expiration because it was the last Friday of the month. Right. And the options max pain price was at around this level as well. So usually when you have a, a, a huge options expiration after the, the contracts expire, um, you see a lot more volatility in the market. And when they expired and China banned, the market just sold off completely. Understood. So this is to, to recap on, on, on what happened there. Um, so here is, uh, I, I mentioned it uh, in the last uh, analysis, um, the, com the correlation between the, the US dollar index, the stock market, and Bitcoin. So here you can see on the left side, uh, the US dollar, then you see the S&P, then the Bitcoin, uh, the normal Bitcoin chart, which is trading 24-7. Uh, and on the right side, you can see the mentioned uh, CME futures which is also Bitcoin, but it's not trading on the weekend. Right. Um, so what I want to say, uh, show here, the, the, the red, uh, the big red arrows are where this week opened. Yeah. Uh, last last week opened pretty much. Um, so you can see that when the week opened, the dollar just continued to the upside. The S&P continued to the downside, which is the typical thing you want to see. And then for Bitcoin, you also see that uh, we were at this level at 47K, which I showed, and then we also continue to the downside. And on the right side at the CME chart, this red box that I sh uh, put in here, this is uh, where you see that because it's not trading on the weekends, this mm -hmm. whole um, um, thing, this whole move where we went to 48,800, it's missing there because we obviously not didn't trade there. So the CME futures, um, they just went down on Friday, and when they opened on Sunday, they just continued their way down. So the whole the whole weekend move pretty much doesn't matter there. Um, and this is why when you see higher prices than the the CME close on the on the weekend, you can highly expect that we will go and reach uh, the CME closing price because this is what pretty much happens every week. So for this week, you can see on the on the bottom right here um, this red line I, I put in there at forty three thousand around 43,000 US dollar, the CME futures, when they closed, they were just about to go up to the upside. And we closed at 43,000. And currently Bitcoin is, after Bitcoin went to 43,000 on Friday, uh, it's it's going a little bit sideways right now. And we are at around 42,000 today. So you can already probably guess what I'm about to tell you, that uh, I expect us to reach at least this 43,000 
dollar level again during the night or tomorrow. Right. So this is uh, something I want to show here. And also on the S and P, you see the S and P had a strong week in the end after those uh, those after the selling pressure. The S and P went back again, and we are higher than when we were um, opening the week on the S and P, which is actually it's it's a it's a it's a sign of strength for the stock market right now. And if the stock market continues to to go to the upside, we obviously have uh, a good environment for for Bitcoin to also continue higher. Okay, very good. So so certainly over the weekend, and when it opens, you're saying Bitcoin is likely to go higher, and we should see yes. how the stock stock market performs. Okay, all right. And this one is Cardano. Um, no, just quickly one more Bitcoin chart. Um, this is the the small time frame, uh, just to show this to you as well. So. Here we also here is the red line again. This is the CME price. I just put it into this chart so you can see it um, easier. Um, the green arrow, which is the higher low. Also here the momentum. It's also interesting because you can see the momentum is just flat right now. Right. It's it's weekend. There's there's not a lot of uh, uh, action happening in the market at the moment. So it's it's just it's it's kind of uh, trapped in this range. Everyone is probably waiting for for this uh, weekly open again. And I have a FIB level here, which is at uh, 43,500. So if we reach the, the CME price, the CME closing price, and then go higher than that, this could be a point of resistance. And if we reclaim this level, it could be future support. So so that's uh, also the 43,000 to 43,500 is is the area I would uh, I would watch for this okay. weekly open. So now let's go to Cardano. Um, Cardano. So last week on Cardano, I mentioned 2.3 as as the breakdown area, um, which is also a spot where we opened when we when we opened the week, we broke down from 2.3 and we hit uh, right around at 1.9. So I, I said the the two dollar mark could be like the one dollar mark when we had the the corrections. We went a little bit through two dollars, but we also didn't take out the low. Um, on on the left side here, mm -hmm. um, the last low we made there, uh, which also is a good sign. And I have not, not I didn't have the the green arrow here, but you can also see this uh, huge hammer candle on on the right side, uh, which also uh, was the the China sell off, which made a high low there as well. Which is uh, as I said on Bitcoin, this is a good sign for now. So we don't want to go at two, towards two dollars again. Let's just put it that way. If we if we go towards two dollars again, and if we also go to the lows on Bitcoin, we could see uh, this market turn more bearish for the next weeks even. So so this is just something I want to point out. If we go towards the lows again, I would uh, I would not just go in and buy those lows immediately, because then we could we could see uh, a continued uh, downside pressure. But as long as it as we keep those lows, then I'm expecting uh, the next one to four weeks to have a continued upside move. And something I want to point out, uh, Q4 is coming up. October, November, December is usually the the strongest strongest time um, for, for crypto to rally. So that's, mm -hmm. we have actually some some good things to uh, to look at for the future right now. But we, we just have to go this this last week's and then this week is, is really crucial for the markets. And on Cardano, um, yeah, you still have the 2.8 resistance at the high there. Uh, this is still holding true, and there is a new one um, which we hit yesterday. Yesterday we had a strong, a strong rally from Cardano, which is 2.46. This is the current resistance that we have. So, if we break 2.46, I expect us to to go to the 2.8 level, and then uh, higher from there. Like after 2.8, I'm saying Cardano will go to a new all-time high very quickly. Right. Right. And sure. one last one last thing, the the MACD also on Cardano. You saw it. You just saw how it looked on on Bitcoin. On Cardano, it's it's a much cleaner. It's a much cleaner picture. Like we had this, we had the top at around three dollars, and there also you can see that the momentum switched. The blue and the and the orange line crossed there. And ever since we have been falling, but in this week, it's already flattening. Like on Bitcoin, you still saw that it's it's kind of wide at the at the bottom there. The the two lines are still um, far away from each other. On on Cardano, we can already see that we are close to to getting a buy signal there. 
because if, if they cross that, you can see that as a buy signal from this indicator. So, so we are quite close there. Very good, very good. And I was going to say that because it looks like it's moving sideways here yes. on, the, on Cardano, uh, the MACD. Okay, and if we wouldn't, like if the blue crosses over to the red, I wouldn't yes. just automatically place a trade, a long trade, and look exactly. for confirmation elsewhere. Yes. Yes, that's that's also correct because it's a one day chart. So sometimes like we could rally to to a higher level there, um to maybe even two point eight and get this signal. And then we have two days of uh of, of a correction in the market, even though it just flashed a buy signal. But then after two days of maybe a little bit lower prices, it, it continues to go higher than that, and then this would be the better entry than just going and uh, buying the first signal. Yeah, yeah, I, I can get that. So with Cardano, it would be like, and, and I think with Bitcoin as well, waiting and seeing a possible short, long, a quick long on Bitcoin. Yes. For the CME folk future, um, futures to catch that um, rise in price. And for Cardano, just wait and see. Exactly. Move out of this range. Okay, great. Max, anything else you want to say? Yeah, I just... Uh... Keep keep uh, keep tight in the market right now. Uh, everyone who wants to trade this at the moment probably needs some good nerves and uh, has to like really be careful because it's 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 a little bit of a difficult time, I would say. Um, that the China the China news really worsened the mood for a lot of people and and the markets. But if we just get this last week done, I think October will be awesome for everyone. Great. Okay. All right, Max. Listen, thank you so much. And if people want to um learn more from max of you know more about technical analysis and get more of his insights and join the vfi discord channel and have the links to vfi in the description below and max thank you so much for making yourself available this sunday I look forward to seeing you next sunday and for everybody who's watching please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits this is crypto rich and crypto max signing out all the best bye bye bye